All right, hello there everybody. Uh, this is Mike with yet another Google SketchUp tutorial video. Actually, this is my first one, so bear with me. Um, I've been using Google SketchUp for, I don't know, maybe, maybe a month, and I love it. It's fun, and I found out something really cool. Um, I don't know if there's other videos on this, but I figured out how to make a vase. You can also apply it to like uh, stair parts, newels, anything that's round and symmetrical that you want to repeat that same profile all the way around. Anyway, so I'm just gonna start out with the basic concept and I'll use the line tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit L on my keyboard and just make a simple two dimensional shape. Uh, something that looks like maybe kind of like a, a garden pot base kind of looking thing. Uh, I'm in like that. I'll go ahead and make a bottom on it. And then connect that back up there. All right, so that's my basic shape. So like this is half of, of the profile. So anyway, I'm gonna make another line that goes up to the top right here. And, uh, and now I need to select the circle tool, which is C on the keyboard. And I want to make sure I'm, I get that circle blue. If I, if I rotate like this and it's green, it's going to make the circle the wrong way. So I need to make sure that that is blue. And start from the center of the top of that line and go over to about that point. And now I go back to the select tool, which is the space bar, and I select that circle. Now I go over to my tools and select the follow me tool which is that one right there. And after I've selected it, whatever solid two-dimensional object, object I click on, it's gonna follow what I had selected before that. So I had the circle selected, and then I went and chose the Follow Me tool, and now it's gonna follow this shape around that circle. So I'll go ahead and click on it. There we go. Now, um, I don't really want that circle up top there, so what I've figured out is you go back to the select tool, the space bar, uh, select that circle, and then hit delete, and it gets rid of it. And then I can hit, uh, select that line that I used, hit delete, or bringing it back, I can hit E for the eraser and select it, and it erases it there. So anyway, that's just uh, a basic concept, uh, very simple. I don't know why that line is there. Uh, I try to delete it, it does something funky. So, oh, I know why that line is there because I did one line down for the profile and then another line to make the bottom. So that's why it's there. So anyway, that's a pretty simple um, vase and you can get into more intricate shapes. And the way that I found easiest to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the select tool and triple click on this, hit delete, get rid of it. Now I'm going to hit the rectangle tool, which is R, and I want to draw a rectangle, but I want it to be, um, first I want it to be up and down, so um, I want it to be the height of my vase, and I want it to be half the width of my vase. So I'm going to do something um, about three inches wide, I'll just go three, comma, and then about 12 inches tall. Well, so if you can see down here in my, uh, uh, my dimensions, I can just type in whatever dimension I want. So again, three comma 12, and it automatically makes it there for me. Now, I, I don't want all this extra space around here, so I'm just gonna zoom in on my, on my project here. So I'm gonna hit Control Z, and it's a little ski wampus, so I'm gonna use my orbit tool which uh, if you have a mouse with a scroll wheel on it that is also a button, you can push that as a button and it is the, the orbit tool. And you can orbit around, so just kind of squared it up. Now the main uh, line tool that I use when I'm making these bases is the arc tool. So I'm gonna hit A on the keyboard and with this one, I'm going to start right about there, come in like this, and then arc it in like that. 
then I'm gonna go down like this and mark it about like so. Um, and then I'll make another arc here. And yeah, something like that. And just, yeah, maybe slightly arc it in. You can just play with it. Um, and uh, really there's no wrong way to make a vase. Um, something you might want to do uh, is stick with the rule of thirds. Um, you can hit T for the tape measure and make some guides. So like that was, this is 12 inches tall. So if I select there and come down four inches, hit four on my length and then come up from the bottom four. Now I have uh, some thirds to kind of guide me if I want to stick to those thirds, um, kind of an artistic thing. Uh, kind of give you some guides, but I'm not really going to stick to that. So the way you get rid of those is you can either use your erase tool, which again is the E, and you can select them, or you can just go up here to edit and go delete guides, and that gets rid of all those guides. Okay, so now that I have the basic profile that I want, I'm going to get rid of these other lines that I'm not going to use. So, and I'm going to get rid of that top one too, and the bottom one. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to get a little more complex. So I don't have my two-dimensional object yet. I just have the profile, but this is going to be the outside of the base. Now I want to copy that and make the inside of the base. And the easiest way to do that is to use the offset tool. And the first thing I want to do is hit the space bar. So I get my select tool and I want to select all these lines. So I can either select them one at a time, hold shift down, and that uh, enables you to select multiple lines. Or another way to do it, uh, if I don't have any selected, I can just draw a box around all of them. And uh, I was missing, I don't know, my box wasn't wide enough, so let me try that again. All right, so there we go. I selected all my lines of my profile. Now I'm gonna go over here to my toolbar and select the offset tool, which on the keyboard is F. So if I hit F, that gives me the offset tool and it's going to automatically index to those lines that I have selected. So if you just tap on that and then you can move it in or out, whatever, it's going to copy that line exactly uh, parallel to whatever you have. So, and you can also look down at your distance at the bottom right, and you can, you can type in exactly how thick you want it to be. So I'm going to call it a half inch thick. So 0.5. That will give me a half inch. Actually, you know what? That's too thick. I'm going to Command Z or Control Z on a Windows, and uh, that gets rid of whatever you did last. You can also go up to Edit, Undo. So anyway, I'm going to try that again. I didn't really like how thick that was. I'm just going to eyeball it. So that's 3 16 I like that. Click on it. Call it good. Now I'm going to work on the bottom down here. So I'm going to zoom in on it. And again, that's the scroll wheel of your mouse. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the line tool. Just kind of come over to this. Come down there and just play around with it a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna do the arc tool right here, just to kind of give it a nice round shape there on the bottom. Yeah, I like that. So again, uh, Shift Z, I'll show you the whole picture. I'm gonna do the same thing up top. And go there with my arc tool and make it a half circle. Yeah. Yeah, half circle, perfect. There, now that is my two-dimensional uh, profile of half of my vase. Now, if you remember before from the basic concept, we need to draw that circle up top. So I'm gonna go over here, uh, orbit to where I'm kind of looking down on it and hit C for the circle, make sure it's blue and go over to pretty much any point you want. Um, it really doesn't matter where you go because it's gonna um, 
basically the only thing to follow me is indexing. It's indexing the shape that you have selected and it, and it indexes the two dimensional object that you select. So I'm gonna again hit my space bar and select that circle and then go over to my follow me tool and select the two-dimensional object. And voila, it traces it around. Becomes a beautiful vase. Clean it up a little bit. Uh, hit the space bar to select things to delete. Um, delete, delete that. So there we go, beautiful vase. Uh, you can look down inside of it, it's very cool. Uh, you can look from the bottom of it. You can see that little detail that we did, you know, the little round bottom. So there it is. And uh, just as a little finishing touch, I'll go ahead and uh, color it. So you hit the, well, first you need to select whatever you want to color. So um, because I haven't made this a component, which I'll, I'll uh, go over that in another lesson, but I'm going to triple click on this object and that selects everything. Now I'm going to hit B for the bucket, the paint bucket, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this sheet metal looking doodad. And everything I have selected, it's going to turn that color. So with these blue lines, you can't really see how cool it looks, but if I hit my select tool, select out here, now you can see that uh, that metal finish thing looks pretty cool. So there you go.